What's up, YouTube? This is Super Yoshi Brother 64, and I'm back for episode 2 of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Now, before we get started, actually, no, I don't have anything really to say, so we're gonna head up straight up this path. Now, understand, as you go up this path, this path will disappear behind you. I'll even show you the back view. As you see, they will disappear, so you cannot go backwards. So, just keep on advancing forward. And once you get up here, walk straight into the light. The closer you get to light, the greater your shadow becomes. Oh my god! It's me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, let me stop this. But don't be afraid. And don't forget. Yeah, bad idea, man. So everybody say hello to the first boss of the game, Dark Side. We will we'll be fighting him multiple times in the game, this is just the first of those times. So he's actually a pretty easy boss to fight, just attack his arm. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My mom wanted to borrow some money from me. So like I was saying before, Dark Side is very simple. Just keep attacking his hand. He'll spawn a few Heartless to fight with him, but ignore. I basically usually I usually ignore them and just keep attacking the hand and just avoid getting hit when you can't reach it. And here we go. It's a, it's a very simple fight. If you fail to win this fight, you should never play Kingdom Hearts because you just suck. I don't really mean that, but this is a very hard fight to lose, and I've never lost it. So, yeah. You should not lose that fight. <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> and now I'm gonna stop with that, cause that's actually a little bit creepy. Just a little bit. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. So don't forget. You are the one who will open the door. And here comes a cutscene, so I'm going to not be talking for a little bit. <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Give me a break, Kyrie. So are you lazy bum. I knew that I'd find you snoozing down here. No, this huge black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't... Ow! Are you still dreaming? It wasn't a dream. Or was it? I don't know. What was that place? So bizarre. Yes, yeah, sure. Say, Kyrie, what was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? I've told you before. I don't remember. Nothing at all? Nothing. You ever want to go back? Hmm. Well, I'm happy here. Really? But you know, I wouldn't mind going to see it. I'd like to see it too. Along with any other worlds out there. I want to see them all. So what are we waiting for? Hey! Aren't you guys forgetting about me? So, I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. Ah. <laughs> and you're just as lazy as he is. <laughs> so you notice. Okay, we'll finish it together. I'll race you. 
Huh? What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> okay, so 20 minutes into the game, Kingdom Hearts. Or if you had to stop for editing and finalizing your video, an hour and a half into recording for me. But I digress. Destiny Islands. Alright. Now. What you're supposed to do here is talk to Kyrie, so that's what we're gonna do. So, can you gather the rest of the supplies? Sora, are you listening to me? Yeah, I heard you. Okay, here's what you, you here's what you need to go get. Two logs, one cloth, one rope. Bring everything back here. If you need help, just ask. I'm counting on you. All right, now this actually is not too hard to do. You're going to run down the beach and bam, here's your first log. To find the second log, you have to come up here. Sorry, wrong button. Jump right up here. And just cross the little pier and the log should be sitting in the middle of this big platform over here. We'll be coming back over here a little later, so don't worry. Now, to find the cloth, you actually have a bit of climbing to do. So let's get over here real quick. I really do love the music for this game. So you just come up this way for the cloth. Climb up these little ladder right here. And now you come in this room, but wait, there's nothing in here. Look on this wall. There's your cloth. Now last but not least is the rope. So jump down, climb up this ladder. And just follow, then just follow the little path around, and a rope is sitting in the corner over here. Now, along with this, there's more stuff you can do on Destiny Island. I have a good bit of time, so I'm going to start showing them off. There are five mini fights you can do while you're here on Destiny Island. They're a good way to rack up experience hey, sir, before you get to the real game. Today? So this is the first fight. This is actually Titus from Kingdom Hearts 10. So let's go in. Not too hard of a fight. Just be careful. He has a couple really strong attacks. My philosophy in this game is you can't get hit, you can't lose. So try to dodge as much as you can. He if you actually even block an opponent's attacks, you'll get tech experience points. In that case, you saw it said tech 2P. That's two experience points. The, Titus is just the first of five different fights you can you can do before you leave Destiny Island, so make sure to take advantage of these fights. Crap. 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 There we go, and nice and easy, and you get two experience points for winning. So to make the most out of these fights, take advantage of your tech points. So that was the first fight. Titus, not too hard. And, to some, and now it's time for something that's even less hard. Ah, uh, the breeze feels great. Talk to her again. And just fight her. Okay, don't hold back. She uses this thing that looks like a jump rope. Apparently, though, it's a nunchuck. She's the easiest out of all the fights. Even though it doesn't look like it. So I'm doing a really bad job dodging her attacks. Shut up, little girl. No one likes you. Crap. I did better against Titus. How is this possible? And of course, she's more of a ranged attacker. That's right. She's also from a Final Fantasy game, but I don't remember which one. If I'm correct, it is 6, which I'm probably not, but that's going to be my guess for now. Oh, nice and easy, you get one, tech, 1 experience points for winning. You can also get tech points from her, but let's not worry about that. Now, we come over here to Waka. Hey, 
what's so, happening? So yes, it's Sam man. Walker from Final Fantasy X. So of course you know his weapon is a blitz ball. Waka is the easiest to rack up tech points on. Just keep your distance and play some baseball. And then when you hit him, he gets dizzy. And just come and do a quick close combo and back off. Interruptions, interruptions. So yeah, just keep batting the balls back. The more you knock back at him, the more experience you can get. Hey, interruptions. Yeah, overall this is not a very hard fight. Crap. So just take advantage of his him throwing a blitz ball to get plenty of experience from this fight. Also, be careful you don't go too far from the fight, or else they'll actually oh, disqualify you. Really Easy fight. I still got some time left, so you come back up here to Titus after you've defeated him, Sophie, and Waka. And you can do a 3 on 1 fight. The 3 on 1 fight actually is pretty difficult, especially on expert mode. Best thing I can say to do is to single someone out, take them out one by one. And don't stay in the same spot for too long. Crap. Or else they will jump you. Crap. I probably won't be winning this fight anytime soon. Yeah. Hey you guys, I think we overdid it. Yeah, but who cares? Real quick I'll show off the last fight and that'll be it for this video. So come over here and you see your boy Riku over here. Just walk up and talk to him. There we go. And now you can do a quick fight against Riku. This actually is a pretty difficult fight, but he's not too hard to beat. Just be careful. And when Riku falls on his back like that, make sure you get out the way, because that's his most dangerous attack. He jumps back on his feet. Come on. You still don't got it. It's not too hard to beat, but when you get bad camera angles like this, it's pretty hard. And the kick to face. Don't tell me you're giving up already. Careful right here. Don't tell me you're giving now when Riku does this, when you attack him, he'll counter attack. Usually on the third one he does that. So make sure to step back afterwards and not get kicked in the face like I just did. Oh. Like I said before, overall is not a hard fight. He's a bit of a challenge. You still don't got it. Oh yeah, and also don't fall off the island. You still don't got it. Falling off is an instant game over. Well not instant game over, but it's an instant loss. If Rookie starts to get close to edge, let him come to you like I did, and bam, five experience for winning. Also, along with getting five experience, you get a potion. So it's a good way to rack up potions early in the game. Also, if you if you win the three on one fight, you also get a potion. So take advantage of those before this day is over. So that's it for now. This is Yoshi Brother 64 signing off. I'll see you next episode.